Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain you how you can implement easily a forward navigation in the SAP query. So within the output, if you double click on one entry, then you would move into a, another transaction. So like the forward navigation is by design. Yeah, and enjoy this video and let's get started. So in order to implement the forward navigation as a pay query, first of all, you have to open up the transaction code SQ01 the maintenance transaction for the SAP query and within here you have to select your user group to uh, where a, there is a correct assignment to the info set and to the SAP query itself and then you have to, to select your SAP query or you have to type it manually and then you have to go into the change mode and then it's important that you choose the menu function go to and then report assignment so you choose this and then you have to insert a row and within here you have to select the button other report type and within here you have to select transaction because basically we want to call a transaction to we would like to forward navigate so and in this sample we just want to forward navigate to the me23n transaction code to display purchase orders then you have to confirm it and then within here you have assigned your sap query to this yeah to this report basically to this transaction code if you want to you can also yeah switch between technical names so if you click here you see directly what you have insert if you just want to like to uh, to display the title you can switch it once again and then you have to click on the save button yeah and basically that's all you have successfully implemented the forward navigation if you want to you can also save your changes uh, but we would like to test this so we go to test and then we execute this and then we just double click on one line and then we have successfully forward navigated into the transaction code ME23N. If uh, we're going a couple of steps back on the go to the report assignment function is not available, then this could have a reason directly in the info set. So to do this there with, uh, yeah, we've go one step back and then an environment and an info set or within the transaction code SQ02, you can select your info set. So in this case, it's that. So then you can double click on that. And then, um, yeah, you can see under settings and then global settings. Um, you have to check if this option is selected so the maintenance of the report report interface is not permitted because if this would have been selected then the report assignment is not shown or you can't use this function in the transaction code sq01 so yeah you have to recheck this but basically yeah we have uh, easily implemented a forward navigation in sap query hit the like button Add a comment if you have any questions left and do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much and then see you in the next video.